you are new to our channel, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. We're so happy to have you here. We make videos twice a week all about fashion, looks, lookbooks, tips and tricks, how to dress your body type. So if you love that kind of thing, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps us to continue making content like this. Yes, and today we are going to be sharing with you 10 fabulous hacks that you guys are going to need to know for your jeans. We wear jeans all the time, so we have come across pretty much every single problem you can have in regards to jeans. So we're gonna share some of our secrets and tips for being able to fix these little problems. So I'm gonna start with a tip that I think has been most useful for me. So if you are petite, you're really gonna love this one, and this is how to shorten your jeans without taking them to the seamstress. And you can do that by cutting your own raw hem. So in order to do this, all you have to do is take your jeans that you would like to shorten, try them on, mark the spot that you want them to fall to. I like to do this by putting on my highest pair of boots, my ankle boots, and kind of seeing where I would like the jeans to fall to create just the amount of space between the ankle boot and the jean. I mark that with a little pen or marker, take off your jeans, use some um, measuring tape to measure across a nice straight line, mark that with your pen, now fold your jeans together nice and straight and then get yourself some um, fabric scissors and cut right down that straight line on both sides so that they are nice and even and then what you do is you put them in the washing machine and then put them into the dryer. This is the only time I typically throw jeans in the dryer but this really helps to create the perfect raw hem. So it's going to look like you bought your jeans this way but now you're going to have them at the perfect length. Okay, so for our second hack, this is all about those pesky zippers that just do not want to stay in place and they keep on falling down. So you may have seen a hack where you can use a key ring um, in order to be able to hold up the zipper and lock it around your, um, your jean button. However, for me, just the fidgeting and trying to pry that key ring open really isn't the easiest way to be able to hold up the zipper. So I'm gonna share it with you. You can simply just grab a hair elastic, uh, either these clear ones or these uh, little black ones. You can also grab a rubber band if you are in a pinch and be able to slip it through the little hole in the zipper and then wrap both of the ends around the jean button. And now you are able to close your jeans as you normally would and it's completely hidden from sight. No one's gonna be able to know that you have a zipper that keeps falling down and won't stay in place. So for those jeans that you do want to have hemmed, my next tip would be to make sure that you wash your jeans at least two times before taking them to the tailor. And the reason you're going to want to do this is because when you wash your jeans, you're automatically going to get some shrinkage in the length. So in order to get the perfect length at the tailor, wash your jeans twice first, let them shrink up a little bit and see how much length comes off of them. And then when you take them to your tailor, make sure to bring the shoe that you would wear your jeans with. So for me, I actually like to um, pin them at home sometimes, and I do this because I like to see how are those jeans going to look with my ankle boots, with my flats, and with my sneakers. And if I can get them to the perfect length for all of my shoes, then that is definitely a win. So definitely make sure you wash twice first, and then take those to the tailor, and you will have the perfect fit. So this next hack has to do with losing a button on your jeans. I'm gonna actually show you two easy ways to actually be able to get yourself out of a pinch. So the first one is simply taking a button and a large safety pin. You can go ahead and you can thread the safety pin right through the back of the button and secure it right on to where the previously existing um, jean button was and be able to secure it into place. No one's gonna be able to tell it's definitely a temporary fix to a problem and you know you can find all of these beautiful decorative uh, buttons to be able to use in replacement. So the other way that you can also solve this problem is to do a little bit of pre-planning. So I know all of us we donate clothes sometimes though you might have some denim shorts, skirts, jeans, maybe even a jacket that is just so worn down you can't donate it. So when, before you toss it into the trash, it's really important to go ahead and just salvage some of those buttons that are on there. You just cut a little bit of the material around the button and 
put them you know where you have your sewing material this way you're actually able to secure it to the back of where the jean button fell off with a couple stitches of some thread and now you have a permanent replacement for a button with your favorite pair of jeans you don't have to worry about it and you don't have to send it to a seamstress now you have fixed it yourself and for zero dollars you've done it all by yourself ladies so this is one thing that i actually do and i find that it's super helpful whenever i lose a button because i always know that i've got some spares left behind so this next tip can be really helpful, especially after the holiday season, and that is what to do if you need to loosen the waistband on your jeans a little bit. So I have two tips for you. One of them is when you just need to loosen them slightly. Um, sometimes this happens you know, after you've washed them, they become very tight and the button is hard to button. So what you want to do is you actually want to remove them from the washer and you're going to hang dry them by the belt loops and that's gonna help to stretch a little bit. Then as they are damp, you stretch that waistband with your hands as much as you can, kind of just stretching it out a little bit. And for some extra help, you can even do that while holding a blow dryer to it. So you can really create a bit of a stretch and it will loosen them up to more like their pre-washing state. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more room in your waistband, maybe you really indulged over the holiday season, then I have another little trick for you, and this one involves a hairband. So I love to use these clear hairbands for just about everything, and they work really well for this trick. This is also great for someone who is newly pregnant and has not yet moved into those maternity jeans, and all you're going to do is loop this little hairband through the little um, hole where the button goes, and then you're going to use that to secure your button. So you've created a little bit more space in the waistband, a little bit more stretch, and obviously you're gonna wanna wear a shirt that kind of covers that so that it doesn't look like your pants are unbuttoned, but just by wearing something that kind of covers that button area, no one will know and it will buy you a little bit more time with your jeans. So if you are someone that has a lot of wearing um, on your inner thighs when you wear jeans and you notice that the fabric is really becoming just weakened and fraying quite a bit, then this next hack is something that's really going to help you. You can actually, when you purchase your jeans, spray a little bit of Scotchgard on the inner thighs of your jeans. This will help to add a layer of protection and really strengthen the fibers of the jeans in between. Um, usually you're gonna use Scotchgard in order to help with spills, but it's also really like binding the fabric of the material whether it's like furniture or you know whatever you're using rugs and stuff and it's going to do the same thing with your jeans it's adding strength it's adding protection it's adding just a layer that's really going to help with all of that friction that's in between your thighs so it's a very quick and easy simple solution now obviously this isn't going to last forever you know jeans will eventually wear down you will have to replace them but in order to lengthen the last of your jeans scotch guard ladies this next tip is all about maintaining the wash of your jeans. So if you have a dark pair of jeans, whether it's a dark blue or a black pair of jeans, and you wanna make sure that you don't have fading in your jean, what you want to do is, in the final rinse cycle, you're going to add one half a cup of distilled white vinegar to the rinse cycle and run that with your jeans. And of course, not putting them in the dryer will also help as well. So this is really going to help maintain that vibrant color. Now on the opposite end, if you are looking to fade out a pair of jeans, maybe you want a lighter wash, then you want to wash those in some hot water and that will really help. Doing that at least once in hot water will definitely help to fade that color out. So that is the way to maintain the perfect color in your jeans. Okay, so this next hack is one that I unfortunately do not have problems with, but my teenage daughter who is a size zero does, which is she has a great fit in her jeans around the hips and the rear end uh, area. However, she's got such a tiny little waist that she often will have some extra loose fitting material in the back. So we have tried quite a few different hacks as far as sewing in some elastic in the back, using pleats in order to do it. But this was a trick that I have got to share with you guys. So 
I've seen several different versions and I've tried them all, but the one that works the best, now remember, this is not gonna take it from, you know, being two, three sizes uh, too large in the waist to them being the perfect fit, it's just slightly larger. So you're going to want to either take a spray bottle and put really hot water inside of there and spritz the back of the jeans right around the waist or you can also just put it into a sink that's full of hot water and get that back area, that part that's just having too much excess material. Get it really doused, kind of like wring it out a little bit, but you wanna make sure that that water is hot. That is the key ingredient to making this work. So once you've gotten the fabric nice and wet with that hot moisture, you then throw it into the dryer for a full 45 minutes on hot heat. The the rest of the dream jeans are dry, but just that section that now has that hot water on it really will help to spring that part back to life and give you a much sleeker look. My poor daughter had belts and all sorts of contraptions with just so much excess material, but this really did help to make it a much better fit around the waist. So let me know, leave a comment down below and let me know whether this works for you as well. So this next tip is actually very convenient right now. During the pandemic, I know a lot of stores do not offer fitting rooms. So if you happen to be out and you would really like to see if you can pick up a pair of jeans, one of the things you can do other than trying on the jeans is to actually use the neck method. So the way that this works is the waist of the jean should actually fit around your neck and this will be just fitting. So it is like a, a tighter fit. So if you have too much of the jean extra left over, then that means the jeans are going to be too big for you. If you cannot make the two ends of the waist connect around your neck, then that means the jeans are going to be too small. But if they can just fit, they can just touch, then they're probably going to fit you just right. So this is going to be really helpful when you're out shopping and they don't have fitting rooms available. This is how you can get a quick snapshot to see if those jeans should work, at least in the waistband. So definitely one I'll be using. So this hack is really to help you ladies be able to maintain your jeans. We've found the perfect pair of jeans. However, now we wanna make sure that they last for as long as possible. So you have to remember, jeans are not like underwear. You do not want to put them into the wash after every single use. This will for sure weaken the fibers of the jeans and really just cause you to go through jeans a lot faster than necessary. You can do some spot cleaning if you need to. I myself personally throw my jeans into the wash once I notice that the fit is a little bit loose or it's a little bit warped and I need to kind of get that fresh and tightened looked again. You also want to make sure when you are washing them that you are turning your jeans completely inside out. This will help to protect the coloring of your jeans to make sure that you're not over fading them. You also want to make sure that you're washing them in cold water. And lastly, do not throw your jeans into the dryer. All of that heat and repetition really will weaken the fibers, it'll fade it a lot faster, and you will run through your jeans much faster than you need to, you know. And we are avid jean lovers, so these are the things that we do in order to make sure that our jeans are lasting for as long as possible. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate all of the love and support. We hope that you found these hacks helpful. Let us know which of these hacks you guys use down below. Let us know if we've missed any hacks that you guys also use. And until next time, ladies, we will see you. Bye. Bye.